Room acoustics is the study of sound in enclosed spaces. In order to simulate sound in a room, we solve mathematical equations that describe sound waves traveling through air and reflecting off walls. Often in room acoustics, we consider a sound source at a single position in the room and a listener at another position in the room. But these equations also allow us to model moving sources in listeners and multiple sources in listeners in the room. Here is a video demonstrating a more complex scene with obstacles in the room causing more reflections. An important property of sound is that it can bend around obstacles and walls that cut into the room, as can be seen in this video. In the Nest project, we mostly use finite difference methods to solve the equations describing room acoustics. These methods are based on regular grids of points or volumetric cells. The simplest cells to use in 3D are cubic cells, but they're not very good when it comes to modeling rooms that are not box-shaped. For example, this video shows a fan-shaped, theater-type room approximated with cubic cells. As can be seen, the cubic cells don't conform to the walls of the room. This effect is also known as staircasing. In order to address these staircasing effects, we also make use of finite volume methods, which allow for the use of irregular cells that can conform to the walls of the room. This provides a better approximation to the acoustics of the room. An important property of the equations describing room acoustics is that of conservation of energy. This means that the total energy of the system is a constant, as long as losses are accounted for. An important feature of the methods we use to simulate room acoustics is that they mimic this conservation of energy property in a discrete setting. This video shows a simulation with energy quantities being calculated over time. There are various energetic quantities and losses in this system. For example, viscothermal losses in the air and frequency-dependent losses at the walls. All of these energetic quantities are accounted for, and their total sum remains a constant over time, down to the limits of machine precision. The types of simulations that we carry out for 3D room acoustics can be computationally intensive, especially when run at audio rates like 44.1 kHz. In order to speed up these calculations, we implement our algorithms on parallel computing hardware, such as GPUs and multi-core CPUs. This can significantly decrease wait times for our simulations to complete. Finally, it is important to listen to some of the sounds that are produced by such simulations. Here is a dry sound, that is, without reverberation, that we can inject into our room acoustic simulation. Now, here are some sounds resulting from one of our room acoustic simulations. Heard at three different listening positions in a room with frequency-dependent losses in both air and at the walls. I hope this short video has provided some insight into the room acoustic simulation work being carried out in the NEST project. Oh.